Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. This is my second attempt at making this video, oh my god. Um, I just recorded this for like, say, 10-15 minutes and my Camtasia recording software just stopped and my image was frozen. Always a pain in the ass when that happens. I think it's because this Mac that I'm running here, I leave it open for you know a week or two weeks or something and, and memory just gets clogged up or something. Anyway, when I close it down, it seems to run smooth. So hopefully this recording, this recording will go okay. Uh, today is February the 13th, 2014. And in this video, I wanna talk about ad revenue in February. Uh, what we've seen and what a lot of other developers usually see at this time of year is a drop in eCPM. eCPM is an ad network measurement of how much revenue you make for every thousand impressions. So if you have a thousand ads pop up in your game, on average, how much revenue do you make, okay? And uh, eCPM for, for me and for a lot of developers does drop in February time. You can see here, I've opened my chart boost panel so you guys can see. Uh, January was sort of between six and seven. Um, and then as you come to February the 1st, you know, uh, it's okay. But then we get this drop down here as well. Now th this is recent because of, um, the, a game that a good game that we we done recently that has a lot of installs but not not a lot of click through rate and not a lot not a lot of installs through chart boost but the ecpm is dropped in general anyway as you can see now this did happen to me last year in february and i believe it recovered around march and april time and some other developers have also reported the same thing as well so if you are seeing a drop in ad revenue uh, you're getting good impressions, but you're seeing like the the revenue that you're making per click or per install, for example, on Chart Boost, it does it does tend to go up around March time. I think the reason it, it goes really well in January is because a lot of people have just purchased their new uh, devices. You know, they've all the kids are now playing, and so big publishers, advertisers want to get as many installs as possible, or they want to get as many eyes on their products as possible. And then come February time, they said to like it tends to like taper off, so they their budget drops in, in February time. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what's happened for me there. Uh, this is AdMob, and you can see as well, I've highlighted the ECPM part here, and you can see roughly, this is middle of January, and it's it's not been a huge, huge drop. That's ECPM of 0 0.66, and this is $1. So it's not been a massive, massive drop, but you can see the sort of downward trend here since the middle of April up until uh, the 12th of February here, 2014. Uh, that again is pretty normal as well. Our, you know, generally I, I don't like to measure eCPM so much. I like to measure how much it, uh, the how much money do you make per click or per install is what I like to talk about. Uh, for example, if somebody clicks an ad mob ad, do you make five cents or three cents or twelve cents? Uh, one time I actually saw one dollar for one click. That was amazing. I was like, <laughs> I wish it was always one dollar. Uh, the other points I wanted to mention during this video before I before I do forget about these is uh, I'm going to be testing the Amazon ad network soon. I just got a plugin for that, which uh, which came from another website because Amazon doesn't have an official Unity plugin for their Amazon ads right now. I've heard Amazon ads are really good in terms of eCPM. Amazon ARPU, the average revenue per user is better than Google Play and it might be better than iOS from what I've seen. So that's why the ad network also pays more because the, the user is more valuable. So I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna put it into a game hopefully this week and I'm gonna let the channel know whether that's good or bad or you know what my experience was with that. Hopefully it will go smoothly. And the other point I wanted to say on this while we're talking about ad revenue dropping now is ad revenue always is variable it's always up and down things can change why because the advertiser might change network they might lose their you know the budget might drop the game might drop in uh, in rank and they're making less money so they can't spend as much money on advertising anymore uh their bid might change there's a bunch of different reasons you know the ad network might cancel your account god forbid touch wood that doesn't happen so things do always change so you want to diversify as much as possible in your revenue streams. And that's one of my goals this year as well. I've mentioned in my 2014 video of, of my New Year's resolutions, one is to work with more developers, to hire more people and start to, you know, grow the business more and more and work with other developers, which has been awesome so far. 
Uh, but the other thing is also to diversify, make sure that we're not, I've not got all of this risk in one channel, one network, one app store, one business model, always diversify as much as possible. So, you know, if you're using AdMob, check out Amazon. If you're using Chartboost, check out App Loving or, or have all three or all four, change them around and see what works, you know, or use an ad mediation network like mopub.com or ad mediation in AdMob or inmobby.com as well. I'm going to be checking those guys out. I also want to check out Airplay as well. Airplay.com, I've heard is very good on third party um, app stores. So not Google Play, not Amazon and not iOS app store but the third party ones which are installed on the device like slidemeorg uh, Samsung apps, um, Mob and Go and so on. I'm gonna check that out and I'm gonna let the channel know what works and what doesn't work. But definitely spread out your revenue, focus on in-app purchases as well. Ad revenue, like I said, can go up and down throughout the year. In-app purchases for me are much lower in terms of revenue than ad revenue is. Ad revenue has always been higher. In-app purchases have always been lower, but in-app purchases have always been like more stable in terms of the, the amount of revenue that comes through uh, per user. So, you know, always diversify like that. Don't just rely on ads. Don't just rely on in-app purchases as well, is my opinion. So diversify. This one as well, this is app loving. Uh, just to illustrate a little bit further, this isn't quite as clear. This is the eCPM um, uh, box that I've highlighted here, uh, the chart. It's not quite as clear because it's these points that there's no average, but you can see here, this is January up until this point here uh, that you can see with my mouse. And you can see these peaks here a little bit higher and then come February time, it's dropped down. Now the, the, uh, the number of downloads has, uh, actually the number of downloads is, is not too bad in February. Um, I was about to say the, the, number of rev the number of downloads has decreased, but thinking back over my charts this past couple of days, the, the number of downloads has been about the same. So yeah, eCPM has dropped here as well. Uh, and so that's happened across a bunch of them. Uh, I, I often do check out this iPhone Dev SDK forum and a bunch of other developers have always uh, said the same thing as well. You know, chartless revenue drops off a cliff, app love and eCPM collapse. Uh, other people have mentioned some ad mob as well there. And uh, so don't worry about it guys. If you are seeing that problem, if you are seeing that drop, it can come back up in, in March and, and April time. Uh, the other interesting thing that I read recently, and what I've also seen a couple of times as well, is that some ad networks algorithm, the way that they um, uh, calculate which which game will receive what ad or which app will receive what ad, also depends on the click-through rate and the number of impressions. So um, I think someone reported on RevMob or AppLovin, they said that if your game has a higher click-through rate, you will get a higher ECPM ad. So for example, if somebody clicks on your ad and you get five cents for that click, if your game has a higher click-through rate, so more people are clicking on the ad, and if your game has more impressions, more ads are appearing, you will also get a higher paying ad. So you will get one where a user clicks on it and you'll get 10 cents or 15 cents. And I did see this in AdMob. I, I don't remember which game, it might have been my Ninja Birds X game but I noticed that when the click-through rate went higher, that the, the actual uh, amount of money I was making per click went higher as well. So I was making five cents at first and then it went up to 10 and then 15. Uh, in a game uh, last year sometime, I actually made $1 for one click. I thought that was a mistake, but I was like, wow. <laughs> if, every, if every single game that we had in the market made $1 for one click, that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, but that isn't the case, of course. The, I don't think advertisers are going to pay that much for a click. They will pay for an install, but not for a click. So, uh, you know, just uh, just so you know as well, uh, yeah, think about how you're placing your ads in the game because uh, if you are getting a higher click-through rate, you may also be getting a higher uh, payment per click, you know, and therefore your eCPM goes higher as well. So, anyway, but my message is here, guys, February does seem to drop. It's the same thing happened to me last year. Other developers are reporting the same thing. Uh, I'm curious to know if other people are seeing the same thing on the channel. If you did see a, a drop in revenue recently, please comment. Please let me know uh, below. That would be great to hear um, that we're not alone in this as well. Uh, also, if, if there's another ad network that you're using that seems to perform quite well, or if anyone out there has used the Amazon ad network inside of your Amazon games, uh, I'm very curious to hear about that one as well. 
and I'm going to let guy, everyone know on the channel how my uh, experience goes with Amazon ads uh, in our Amazon games. So, but as always, guys, thanks for all the support on the channel. It's been, it's always great to hear from you. Great big sorry for not replying to all of the comments this past couple of months. I know it's been crazy, and I've seen a lot of messages from developers asking for help uh, and some comments. I'm so sorry that I can't reply to you directly right now, guys. It's been an awesome, like, just a so, so, so busy couple of weeks for me, as it always is. Uh, but I do read every one of them, and, and you know, a, a big thank you. And I'm hopefully going to get back to all of you as soon as possible. Um, and again, thanks for all the support. So please click that like button. Please subscribe if you have not already, and comment if you have any questions. Uh, I'm going to come back to you soon and do another video um, really quick. So anyway, happy developing, everyone. Have a great week. Bye-bye.